<laughs> Why not? Let's do it. All, All right, right, guys. Round number three. It's the best round you're going to get. I hope can't, you're ready. Can't ask for a better round. Two good-looking gentlemen. Mm. Oh, I see that you you decided to put the infect counter already. Just well, to, I'm infect. Uh -huh. I got it. Yeah. I had to, you know, make sure it was ready to go. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you're not gonna infect oh, me. Look at this. This look friendly, friendly nice beginning guy. handshake <laughs> to start things off. Uh, Who are these gentlemen that are playing Magic: The Gathering right now? Well, we got we got a good one, I think. So this, okay. In fact, starting to rise up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a little bit of conversation about at the start of the stream. Um, it does better when there's more linear decks that are running around. There are more linear decks, but there's also more controlled decks running around. Mm -hmm. You're starting to see that too at the opens. Like Jeskai Control is a powerful deck. Um, some people are trying Search. We have not tried it yet in the list that you're currently piloting. Um, you are on not like the combo style. You're not Nikiri. Yeah, Kyle. it's 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 a little bit more of a tempo esque feel. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys don't know, Spell Queller is a fantastic card. Ah, oh, so good. It's such a good card, um, as well as uh, some some spiciness in the sideboard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Geist of Saint Traft. Yes. Um, you also we also have a little couple fun ofs in the sideboard as well with Mirror and Crusader. It's 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 a deck that can get low to the ground if it needs to. Yeah. Um, it's more of like a dirtle control mm -hmm. is what I had in mind when I was working on it. It's like, I'm just going to sit here and we'll, we'll kind of trade off one for one. You play a creature, I might path it, I might bolt it, helix it, whatever I might do. I'll counter the rest of the stuff. Right. And we've drawn this out for a while. And then I can snap bolt you to death. You know, I can do the colonnade beats. True. Kill you that way. Yep. Like you talked about with... Um, your countering creature, what's that guy called? The spirit. Spell There you go. It doesn't counter. You're right. It's it like exiles the spell. It exiles the okay? spell. That's different because you can get around those uncounterable spells. <laughs> <laughs> Can't counter this, but I can exile it. Watch this. <laughs> abrupt decay? Get that out of here. You're not going to abrupt this guy. So, that's that's what we're trying for with it. Mm -hmm. like it's, it's that sort of style. Um, I went to go... Oh, I remember why. I was like, I, I ran away. I got scared already. Oh, yeah. I remember. I went to go ask about a poison counter. Yeah. So I lost the die roll. Mm -hmm. you know. Oh, look at that ugly island. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. Regions. Look at it. It is so oh, ugly. White border. Yep. So good. I think... I think they keep them both on time. Well, that's what it looks like, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, look at that. that. I don't need that. <laughs> Get that out of here. Yeah, you see that? You see how I show the camera my cards? You're so nice. <laughs> I... <laughs> I don't... I'm going to go probably 17 here. I think, think I, I... Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I like... Yeah. I think I was like feeling more greedy because you o opened with an island. Oh. Um... Like, if you had opened with, like, a Steam Benz or a Hollow Fountain, I think I would have been maybe more nervous about it. But mm -hmm. I was like, I can I can try to sneak this guy in early, sure, right? Sure, yeah. This, this is the attempt. I just want... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a little spoiler <laughs> to to all control players out there. I just... My, my hand goes out to you. I feel your pain. And I'll see you on the other side. Aaron Mesa gets cracked. And we're going to go to 17. Ooh. Not worried that I'm going to kill you with regular damage, I can see. Nope. And I don't think a Just Guy player should be worried about it. Um, with Helix available. Mm -hmm. like, And you just bolt that guy. Mm -hmm. I don't want any of your, like, shenanigans when you have mana open. And that's the thing. Like, that is the... You can see <clears throat> that's the sign of smart players against infect is I'm not going to start trying to kill your guy in combat. Exactly. That is, not the, worth that is the wrong time it to do it. It is not worth it. Just get rid of it on your turn. You aren't going to do anything anyway if you're a control player. And I just drew one of the best cards. Spell Queller. Spell Queller. You've also got... I got a Helix, though. Helix. Analogic Knob. Oh, so you have some options available to I you do. this turn. 
it? Like, do you want to play more controlly? Do you just opt to kill it now? <laughs> like, <laughs> actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give another spoiler. I'm pretty certain you don't play any ops in the two games we play. <laughs> I don't think I do. I like. I think. I think it's like ah, I wish I could opt for something. Headlaven. Uh huh. That's not good. For Look me. at that great white border card. That's not good for me. No, it definitely will mess with your map, map now because you cannot spell Queller oh. the Pendlehaven. And I'm just nice enough to come at you. Yeah. For one. Pump for two. two. Just poking at you. Mm -hmm. See what you got. And that's and that's for anyone that hasn't played Nan. If you ever see him out in a tournament, just FYI, it's what he does. It's what he does. All right. He's willing to play the game of attrition with you, and he will just hit you for one... One, 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 one. I've, I, I've done that whole all-in style, in fact, before. I don't like it as much. Actually, um, the only um, game that I felt like I could have won on Tuesday that I threw away, essentially, from my play was from going all in mm. on a play of like really going ham and pumping this one guy and then kind of didn't work out. Oh. So I like I, I I'd rather just kind of play it slow. So here Helix. comes the Helix. I'm going to gain 3 life by the way. Go back to 19. Yep. Just let you know cuz I am worried about that uh that physical damage. Noble beats, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling strong now, except for that stupid ink moth. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a flyer, right? Spell Queller flies. Mm -hmm. So you do have that available. You've got a path in hand. I think you even have cryptic, so like you're set up nicely. I play an elf again. Can I can we just keep track uh, how many of creatures? how many creatures I've gotten rid of? This is effectively three. This is yes, this is the third creature. Here comes a spell queller targeting the glistener elf. Yep, I got it. Fetch. And now I sit here and do some debating real quick about if I want to shock myself or not. Absolutely. Why not? Why? Yeah, you know? It's just a spell queller. It's sure. only two damage. Yeah. I mean, you've used one... Bolt, one helix yeah. now, so there's two less burn spells left. Nice guy. Yeah. Get the know. old pad of approval. If you, if you cheated, it's it's your win. <laughs> if you if you committed that much to this, you know. One. <laughs> I'm coming at you for one. Do you like my... Uh... Do you like my bluff here? Yeah. And that's true. So, Lionel's saying can't play in fact without having an all-out assault in your wheelhouse. You have to make people have it sometimes, <clears throat> and there are plenty of opportunities for... for so, like, I run um, a playset of Might of Old Corosa, um, and then I have two ground swells in my list. Mm. So I do have that option to turn to you. Because I also run the mutagenics. So I can be like, alright, I can just get you on turn two. Um, and that also is nice to put the fear in people too. And really make them worried kind of thing. I have a uh, zero one spirit that's currently is holding a glycer elf hostage. You do have a Zero, one. He's there. Like, he's on blocking duty. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That is a blighted agent that you have. And you quickly mana leak it. Yeah. Put a stop. Right. There, Creature four? number four. Creature number four. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And you're still only at two points in that mm -hmm. Oh boy. 
You know what I drew? Uh, another tower spell. Nope. What's drawn? A supreme verdict. S missing a white source. You're stuck on lands. You've been on four since like the beginning. Mm -hmm. Activate Ink Moth. Mm -hmm. Now it stuck in this weird like danger spot of like you know. You have four mana available. You can easily, like, snap, helix, do this, like, shenanigan stuff now. But you're just like, nah, I'll do this kind of block thing. And I'm going to try to get another creature. Come on, Brett. Come on, Brett. My man. Ugh. Path to Exile. Best card in Magic, if you guys have forgot, is <laughs> Exile, Target Creature, period. Period. Also, be sure, guys, I don't know if you knew this or not, this is a very important rule. It is. If Path resolves, like it did just now, it is important for you... There, now we're at four creatures. What's that? Yes. No, it's... it's Officially. It's five. Oh, four well, because, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Elf is back. back. Yep. It is, it is important that you, as the person that casts Path to Exile, to let your opponent know, hey, you can get a basic land tapped. And then it is also up to your opponent to say, you know what, I'm going to get that land. Or no, I don't want that land. Yes. Very important. Rip my spell color. Can I tell you how good Supreme Verdict is? It's feeling good. Feeling real good. Pendlehaven Pump. Start it off. Give him some toughness. Oh, dear. Distortion Strike. Yeah. Distortion Strike. That's going to make it a three? He will be a three. A three, three. Unblockable. <clears throat> that resolves. That it isn't path to graveyard. Yes, that is important. It is path to exile. <laughs> says it right on the card. Move to combat. And he says, no. <laughs> you will not move to combat. Modes will be tap your bros down. I think I'm on draw card. Oh. Tap and return it to my hand. Ah, mm. oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. yes, because I'm not dumb. Because you were like, no, like, it's, it's a, because I played the Distortion Strike, right. it's to try to get me to waste it, essentially. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I remember now. Drew Helix. Still have lane. No. But you do have the mana to Helix. Krakow. Why not you for three? Yes, just keep wasting those spells. <laughs> yeah! Yes. Logic now, I gotta come oh, down and eat up that vine. And my creature. Mm -hmm. Depleting my resources. You'll gain three. To be up to 22 again. Again, and here's creature number six. Effectively gotten rid of five. Number That's a good point. Cryptic. If you did tap and draw, then he couldn't have fizzled the cryptic since it didn't have any targets. True. And uh, can't do that because I'm a cheater. And I quickly change my mind. I'm going to do this instead. Bounce that to your hand. Yeah, draw. I'll draw. Looking for some lands. Mm -hmm. Just one. Got a bolt. Not a land, but important. Play this guy again. Cheat count one. <laughs> Start the season off right. Listen. Sometimes it's hard to read the mana that's on the spells. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Path. Number six. In the books. Gone. 
in the books. Nobody needs that guy. Nope. If this infect player could quit drawing creatures, <laughs> please. <laughs> and two vines have been used. Yeah. So if you look at it like that, like two protections down, mm -hmm. gotten rid of. Yeah. What six creatures are we at now? Mm -hmm. Six. Out of a deck that runs, what, 12? <laughs> Half. Here's the number seven. The man keeps <laughs> drawing them. But we got a serum. Just please give me a land. <laughs> That's a <laughs> vault. <laughs> There's a land. There's a land and a remand. I <laughs> keep that land right on top. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to bolt it because I just am in the you, creature you killing need game. I'm in this creature mode. Yes. Kind of like even pump. Uh huh. Mutagenic. Yeah. So he is now gonna have four. Man, if I had another red source right now, <laughs> you would be so mad. <laughs> How many creatures do you have in your hand right now? I think I still have one more. Oh my know. god. I, no, I can't remember. Oh my like, god. <laughs> There he is! The one more oh, I had! <laughs> Noble doesn't count. What? <laughs> Just because you're at 22 life. <laughs> Noble doesn't count. <laughs> distortion Strike. Pendlehaven, Distortion Strike. Yes. Two cards left. Yep. Pendlehaven, Pump. So it'll be four coming at him. Mm -hmm. Move to combat. That's almost as many creatures as I got rid of. I was really nervous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I, okay. Sitting there with two mana open. Uh, right? And please them, walk, walk me through how you BB would become no! a <laughs> And one of them's a white source. So what am I nervous about? Path? Well, you've already done path, right? right? So besides path. What's, what's the card oh, that I can't protect myself against? Bless Alliance, yeah. yes. Bless Alliance is a great card, by the way. I hate Bless Alliance. What a great card. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. So, everyone watching at home right now, how many creatures did, Brett kill did I game? kill in that first game? Six. Or Exile. Kill or Exile. So... If we're counting exile, does that add the count up because of spell caller? Does that become seven? No, because you got the glistener back. Right, but you did exile which it. Which effectively removes it, brings it back, so it's still six. Right. Six and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Way more than the lands you played. Amen <laughs> to that. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> so I do some sideboarding here. Mm-hmm. I would rather that you didn't sideboard. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's like Graph Digger's Cage, Two Dispel. Um, oh my god, what did I just do? What? what did I just do? Did I just... Oh, I'm such a bad player. No. I wouldn't have. I'm not that bad. No, it's there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, was there? Did I take a blessed out? <laughs> take a blessed out. Put a blessed uh, in. You know, no big deal. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everyone, ignore the con the control, quote unquote, player, please. <laughs> Dear God. <sighs> well, you had some options available to you though for your sideboard. I did. I did. Um, we we have some board some board wipes besides Supreme Verdict. I think we run two angers on the sideboard. Um, we have the two mirror and crusaders, we have the two geist. Mm. Um, is the static caster in there? No, we were talking oh, about we, it. It's counter flux. Yes. And then we some, some to... counter spells, blessed alliance. I cannot tell you how, how much work Staticaster did in that finals too. But the humans deck was good. Like. Oh my god. Well, okay, so here's here's the thing. Game one, turn two, Medley Mage, right? Mm hmm Enter scoop phase. Game two, 
Meddling Mage hits Grape Shot again. Yep. But he's got empty Lords now. So he doesn't scoop. So he doesn't scoop. But then faces his 12 Goblins into one Static Caster. Oh. Get rid of him. Gosh, it hurts. Bye. It hurt to watch. Because Static Caster is a human. She is a human. She is a human. Um, and we do have a token player that's running around our shop right now. Yeah. So, trying out the Gideon token list. Mm -hmm. You know? Tribal Gideons. All right, let's look at this hand. Hot, hot a bolt, a healer. Hot trash. No lands to go. No lands. That's hot trash. I don't know what your deck is doing to you. Send, send it back. It's mad at you for not playing Magic. Uh, no ops that first game, by the way. You're right. There were no ops. Yep, no I just ops. got all the creatures and no ops. That was the only reason I was excited about you being <laughs> That's on camera. True. Look, man, I get, I'm so ready to make the op puns. Yep. So you better, you better not disappoint. All right. I don't know if I play any ops. I don't think you too. do. I don't think you do. Please cut my deck. <laughs> I just like to shuffle. I do too. You know what the problem was? What? Is literally the next day, mm -hmm. I had found like these uh, parking like past ads that Winchester was handing out <laughs> at work, <laughs> and I didn't have any cards. So but I just I looked at them, <laughs> and I was like, give me seven of those. I need those. And man. now they sit at my desk, and all I do is just shuffle <laughs> those dang cards. <laughs> It's the worst. <laughs> got, you, got you back in it. Um, oh, so people are like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Don't worry about it. Don't don't you worry about it. I'm just shuffling over oh. here." Eighteen how's, all, huh? How's the how's the fear? You a little worried? I started with the Sacred Foundry. Uh, that's why I played this relic instead of my <laughs> creature, because I was like, "Yeah, you're just." And check this it. out, planes to fall. I know. <laughs> Like, well, I wish that mm -hmm. I could do something mm -hmm. to deal with you. Alright, here we go. Glisser Elf. I've got two bolts in hand. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <Bolt laughs> I just back. lay it right on top of it. Blossoming. Get defense. out of here with this. Please, no. <laughs> Leave him alone. How does he have it? How does he have the answer? Path. Eat that bolt. You may go get a land. Feeling strong. No no blue mana, serum visions in hand. Yeah, I mean you're ready to kill something I play. Like, right? You're here, you've got paths that you've used. Mm -hmm. You used a bolt, but you still have a bolt in hand. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm doing good. I feel like I'm doing well. Yeah. Here we go. Two mana. Oh, what is that? What card was that? All right, guys. Everyone, what, what is this? I couldn't see. Everyone that's watching at home, please show me your best smork. <laughs> and that's S M O R C. It's a it's a it's an emo capital S capital M cas, capital O lowercase R C for. The only card Find that should not be Ink Moth Nexus. Should not be in this deck. Sylvan Scrying. I please, please show me a smork. Love this card. Celestial Colonnade. Please pass. exile that card. Mm -hmm. Find target Ink Moth. That's it really like pay two mana, find target Ink Moth. I know. Sometimes pay two mana, find target Pendulate. Mm -hmm. It's rare, but mm -hmm. you know, it does happen. Uh -huh. Activate. <sighs> Yep. Simple. Come and ask you for one. Mm -hmm. Just a poke. Mm -hmm. You know, poking and prodding right now, seeing what I can do. And then look at you. Don't worry. I got me. I'll, I'll take two to protect him with my Apostle's Blessing. I always feel so nervous doing Apostle's Blessing when I 
against like Jeskai players when they have that like white mana up. Mm. Like and they're playing or like they have a red mana up or something like that and they play a helix or a bolt on my guy and I'm like, I'm so worried I'm gonna name like the wrong color and you're just gonna be like path it or like bolt it to follow it up and so I'm like, uh, yes. No, oh, there you go, you starting it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Sylvan Scrying in Infect. It's a thing. It's not a thing. It is. It's, it's a real thing. It's it's really not. It's really, <laughs> when you say it's a thing, you expect mo more than one more person than just man to play. More this. than one person to do such thing. Hey. Hey. If I could get in touch with all those players that are playing the circuit right now and say, listen, Jace is cute and all. I see what you're doing. But let me tell you about Sylvan's Crying in Infect. Oh god, there's another Ink Moth Nexus. I have a Snapcaster, though. Because you're running out of fuel in the graveyard. Shh. It's fine. <laughs> Go to two. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The man just pokes you to death until you die. <laughs> it's like, yeah, one of these times I'm going to get you. Draw. Couldn't see what it was. Mm -hmm. I only liked one of those cards. Yeah, makes sense. I have two, two Snapcasters, guys. Oh! <laughs> this is the game that that Supreme Verdict came right on time. Oh, yeah. When right you're like, ah, oh, look at these ink moths that yeah. I can really kill right that now. That I can never, ever, ever... Where's my quicken? Supreme. Where's my quicken? This is great. <laughs> Supreme Verdict. I guess it would have been too good if it was an instant, right? Yeah. Well, you could, you could always uh, run Settle or the Seagate Wreckage. What, what is that? Uh... New card. Settle the wreckage. Settle the wreckage. Yeah. They exile all attacking creatures. They get lands. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Is it basically it? Yeah. Alright. It's, it's basically right. mass path yeah. to exile. Yeah. So here's two more coming at you. Sure. You know. Why not? But you're getting close to being able to activate Colony. Oh, that's great. I'm so happy <laughs> that I can cast my third serum and activate my Colonnade. Alright, you still have that fetch land mm -hmm. available to you. Yeah. Um, have another fetch land in hand. Yeah, looks like we're going to get a steam vent soon. Did you not play that? I'm not pretty sure I played that island. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Exile all the, a card from your graveyard. I have so many lands right now. Mm -hmm. So many lands I can't blow up. <laughs> That's true. Like with the Jess guy, we don't have any ghost quarters right now. We can't no. can't justify it at this point. I can justify it in this moment. That's true. Um, this is also my anti blessed alliance. Sure. Like coming at you for two. Um, We're at six, boys. We're at six. I think this is now like the worry phase. He's I worried. Feel, I feel like if you're playing against an infect player. And you are at six, right? No, I'm at seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I do, in fact, have six poison counters. Yes. yes, yes. But I am at seventeen. You are. Sir. You are right. I could fetch for a Dryad Arbor and get you that way, but I don't think I've ordered in against you actually. Oh, look at me sending a message. Who needs life? Yeah. There's that steam vent. I don't know. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling like uh, I can really pull this back. I mean, like, mm -hmm. you have Snapcaster, right? You can start bringing some threats, too, mm -hmm. and just be like, all right, I'm going to bring out a Snapcaster, and then... I can start beating you down for two, and, and basically now you have a clock against you kind of thing. Mm. I think you have a spell caller in your hand. I do have a spell caller so in my hand. So you can bring that in and just be like, hey, block one of your ink moth. 
Look at this. There we go. Look at this play. Look at this play. And I'm just going to say, no, you're not going to get that zero what a jerk. or whatever you're trying to do there. What a jerk. I'd like to draw a card. Then I would like to. Telegraphed. <laughs> Code 15. Now, the relic does hurt me sometimes mm -hmm. because I can't delve away all those sweet cards that I was putting in my graveyard. <gasps> I did bring it in. You did. I did. I'm going to supreme the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you just wait. Just you wait. Kind of plants. <laughs> like, technically, I only have two fetchable sources left in my deck right now. That's exactly what I do with those dumb cards now. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the beats coming at you. Yeah, here it comes. Putting the, putting the fear in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying, listen, I have all these cards. Mm -hmm. You better, better be careful. And you don't fall from my bait. <laughs> you take one. <laughs> mm. Yes. Get that out of here. Spell queller it. It was worth the resources. Mm -hmm. Exile that. And he's been exiled. We're back on the board. <sighs> Surprise! <laughs> There's another creature. <laughs> they just come in droves. I don't understand. All right. And you're doing some fetching here. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. <laughs> There's that plus of lines. <laughs> Would be a great card to have. Yeah, I'm not really worried about Blood Moon coming from you, so... <laughs> That's true. Uh, I'm, I'm alright with getting a couple duels here. Okay. So now you're in this awkward spot because you might want to cast Supreme Verdict. Yeah. <laughs> Give her that Plated Agent. Mm -hmm. But then that gives me my creature back. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's exactly, <laughs> That's, yep, exactly that's my right. thought that's process. It. Yep. We'll definitely want to cast a Supreme. However... Math says I don't have enough mana to do everything that I want in life. Yeah. So we ponder. That's not legal. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. If it was, I would be really sad. Or really happy. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Oh, this player needs to get out of the tank. But like you, you're dead, okay. dude. Just, no, because you, you sit there and you're like, okay, you have you have spell queller, mm -hmm. right? You also have the snap castle. So you you saying I don't choose, like I think bringing the snapcaster in for attacks makes sense. I think keeping the queller back to try to block an ink maw, at least to buy you another turn, sure. right? Yeah. You you have the spell queller that you're gonna try to bring in if I try to pump something, mm -hmm. right? So, attacking with the Snapcaster in retrospect was probably the better play. Graph Digger's Cage. Players can't cast spells. Get for the that out of here. Now, as we talked about after, yes. I didn't really have anything in my graveyard, so I probably should have just held on to that for something that mattered a little bit more, but it's been a while. You live, you learn. Here come the beats. Maybe. And boy, boy howdy, if I had one more mana yeah. and Supreme you Verdict be hurting. was instant speed. Can I tell you... We, we can slip a Quicken in there for you. No, it's not worth it. It's just not Quicken worth it. Quicken Serum Visions. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, it's just what I want to do. Six mana. How much is Quicken? One. Oh, it's one? One blue. Uh, 
make a sorcerer speed essentially instant, and you get a draw card. Oh, we need mystical teachings then. <laughs> yeah. So I can go get that for six. <laughs> mystical teachings, quicken. <laughs> quicken seer visions. And look at that sweet supreme verdict that I could have blown yeah. up all of your ink mods with. And this is us just talking about it. It's not important. We don't need to... We, we do our just discussion yeah, posts yeah. like, alright, you know, what could we have done differently right, in the yeah, match? We don't need to watch Did that. our discussion about, I was really worried about your Blessed Alliance, and you know, that stuff. I'm always... Like, Mystical I, teaching with <laughs> Blessed Alliance. Still I'm, costs six. I'm so worried about Blessed Alliance. Like... Mm -hmm. All the time. Yeah. Like you running white in your deck, you probably have less alliance. Probably. You got two mana up right now, I yeah. better attack with two creatures. Hey, settle, settle the wreckage. wreckage. Yes. <laughs> that is a card that we could essentially run. Yeah. Might be worth it. Search for Asconto, we could try to fit her in there. You know. Um, there's two more rounds mm -hmm. to go. Um, what, what are you trying to get with Scrying? Uh, so Sylvan Scrying is find target ink moth nexus. That's not the rules text on the card. <laughs> That's what you are trying to do. You're right. Benjamin Barry, tell him it's a bad idea. Okay, so basically, it's either find ink moth or find Pendle Haven. It's the way that I tried to justify it mm -hmm. for running it in the deck. Mm -hmm. Really, there's so many grindy matchups, and you, you know, you're killing all my creatures with, um... Jess guy running around mm -hmm. with um, Grixis, like Death Shadow and stuff like that, and, and so it's just nice to be able to be like, you know, what? I'm gonna yeah. find this. Mm -hmm. You say there's, there's one in there. I know. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying? I'm yeah. saying I'm gonna wait I'm... until you're done, and then I'm gonna come in. Okay, what you got? How long have you been running Sylvan Scrying in your deck? Maybe two years. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Think. So don't don't feed this line to everyone. Like, yeah, this was this was a, a gut decision based on how the meta is right now. It, no, <laughs> you've been doing it for two years. Listen, it was a gut decision based on the meta two years ago, uh, and it just happens to work well with the decision going on right now. It's always been in your deck, though. It does never yes. change. Look at this, Benjamin. You support it. <laughs> See, also, that's the thing, too. You're playing Legacy, you and you can... Rotate, well, that's the thing. You can crop rotate Legacy and get that. And it's like, oh, feels great, right? Yeah. Awesome. I like that. And I was like, you know what? I can't crop rotate. When the meta was so aggressive, what, what's your, what, what was your grindy matchup then? Um, you know? I don't remember. <laughs> to be honest, I can't remember. Sounds like we're going to game four. <laughs> Round number four. Oh, not enough. I don't know. Like, I like it. I feel like it too much not to run it. Like, because you have those flex spots, and it's like, I don't know. I feel like I would rather have that over Dismember Mainboard right now. I don't feel the need for Dismember Mainboard. Mm -hmm. 